How to request access to the beneficial ownership information of a trust as a subject person. 1. How to register an account as a subject person. In terms of law, trustees are required to register the beneficial ownership information of trusts under their administration. An online portal for this register can be found at tubor.mfsa.mt. The registered beneficial ownership information of trusts is accessible at differing levels to various competent authorities and subject persons as defined in the Prevention of Money Laundering and Funding of Terrorism Regulations. Therefore, subject persons are entitled to request access to carry out searches on the trust's ultimate beneficial ownership register for the purposes of carrying out due diligence in terms of the said regulations, for example when establishing a business relationship or carrying out an occasional transaction in relation to a particular trust. In order to carry out such searches through this online portal, subject persons are required to register an account. It is important that the account is set up in the name of a senior officer of the subject person using a business address and not a personal email address. Therefore, info at mfsa.mt, for instance, will not be accepted. The email address and password are to be used for subsequent logins. The MFSA's preference is that it is the MLRO of the subject person who registers as a user on behalf of the subject person. However, the MFSA will consider the specific circumstances of institutions as applicable. Password sharing is completely unacceptable and registered users are expected to protect their login details. Make sure that you select Subject Person as applicant type and select the type of subject person you are representing from the drop-down menu of institutions. The relevant declarations included in the registration screen must also be accepted by the user by ticking the relevant fields in order to proceed with registering for access to the register as a subject person. Upon clicking Register, you will receive a notification at the email address provided during the registration process to verify the said email address. Follow the prompts on screen to enable the two-factor authentication method and proceed to login. Two, how to register an account as a subject person when a trustee account has already been set up. Trustees licensed by the MFSA are also deemed to be subject persons in terms of the prevention of money laundering and funding of terrorism regulations and therefore would be entitled to request access to carry out searches on the Trust's ultimate beneficial ownership register for the purposes of carrying out due diligence in terms of the said regulations. However, access is not automatic and licensed trustees are required to submit a specific request to be granted access to also be able to carry out searches in the register as a subject person. This may be done by clicking on Online Register in the menu bar or by clicking on Search Trusts in the home page. The system will then prompt the applicant as to the next steps required. Once the request to carry out searches as a subject person has been processed and approved by the MFSA, the registered user will be able to use the same login details to carry out searches relating to trusts other than the trusts registered by the said trustee, on which the trustee may be required to carry out due diligence. 3. How to carry out searches for beneficial ownership information of a trust as a subject person. Once the account is registered and the authority approves the account, in order to carry out searches for beneficial ownership information of a trust, the subject person must proceed by clicking on Online Register in the menu bar or by clicking on Search Trusts in the homepage. Searches must be carried out by the full name of trust. If the beneficial ownership information of the trust you have searched for has been registered, the system will prompt you to accept a declaration that the search is being carried out on the register of beneficial owners of trusts solely for the purpose of carrying out customer due diligence in accordance with the prevention of money laundering and funding of terrorism regulations, and to also attach an engagement letter or other supporting document which clearly indicates the name of the trust being searched for and tying to the subject person's obligation to carry out due diligence on such trust. 
It should be noted that an audit trail of all searches carried out is recorded by the system. A request to view the beneficial ownership information of that particular trust will be automatically sent to the MFSA for processing, and you will then be contacted in a timely manner with the response. For further details about Tubor, you may click on the About link, which also includes a link to the FAQs issued by the MFSA, and which includes further information about the beneficial ownership information on trusts available through Tubor.